Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you so much, Cancer, for joining me. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. It's always a pleasure to read and do your tarot reading, Cancer. So let's have a look at you, Cancer. You and your person, what is it that you need to know regarding their thoughts, their feelings, and their actions? So let's get started, Cancer. For those who are new, my name is Gigi. Welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Every week you get two readings plus a bonus weekend tarot reading which will be done by Fifi this Saturday. So let's get started. Let's find out Cancer. What is it that you need to know? Just also another quick announcement. I am open to do personal tarot readings. If you would like a personal reading, doesn't matter where you are in the world, all personal readings are sent and recorded through WeTransfer. So you will receive a video to download. And also don't forget to check out FifiGGTarot.com. We have a masterclass there available to learn tarot. You will be taught by myself and Fifi how to do spreads, how to interpret the cards. It's available. It is online, 100% self-pace. So grab this opportunity. All the information's in the description box. Okay, cancer. What do we need to know, please, regarding your situation with your person? What do we need to know? Big energy behind the deck. We have the three of pentacles. This is, as you can see, the working card. But it's about teamwork, sharing the load equally, respecting each other's views, ideas, and values. We have the Six of Wands. This is a card of victory. It's not overnight success, but in the end, you come home, Cancer, winning. And we also have the Nine of Cups, a reason to celebrate, a reason to be super, super happy. You're raising your glass here. This is also the minor arcana of the stars. So you can also actually even make a wish also for you, Cancer. So these are great cards for relationship. But what I'm also coming through is career. Whatever you're working on, Cancer, you're going to get some fantastic news. Okay. I feel like some of you are just kind of like I'm picking this up already, this extra message that you're just focusing at the moment on your career, something that you want to accomplish, something that's like something bigger than you. It's like you're doing something. It's quite huge, quite really important to you. So that's just come through. What do we have? What's happened in the past? Okay, so we do have the Nine of Swords. Mm. There has been restless nights in the past due to stress, due to anxiety, worry, ruminating about something, a situation, a problem with no solution. This is a huge mental card. Cancer, even if some of you are still experiencing the Nine of Swords, please remember, be really self-aware of your thoughts. Because sometimes our thoughts can do or say certain things that hasn't happened yet. It's not true yet. We need to quiet down the mind a bit here. Interesting, the Nine of Swords. So what are we worried about here? Picking up this a situation, a fight. That your person's not compromising. They're not seeing your version, your your side, that's coming through. It's like they're not ac acknowledging your side, what you're saying, Cancer. Okay. Okay, so we do have the King of Pentacles. So, Cancer, you're thinking about or you're involved with someone here that's Capricorn, Horus, or Virgo. The King of Pentacles is someone very, very grounded, a realist in touch with reality. They're not the, really the type to overspend. They're not really the type to do things without thinking things through. And 
yeah, this is what's happening at the moment. The person that you are involved with, this person may have caused a bit of issues in the past, a bit of worry and stress, unnecessary stress. Let's have a look at your person though. Mm, five of swords. Okay. It's weird. I just said just before that I feel like there's been an issue where your person wasn't respecting your ideas or views. The five of swords means that exactly. When there is someone that's a little bit selfish, a little bit arrogant, where they take everything, but they give nothing. It's my way or the highway. And sometimes with the five of swords, it can show that there is a breakup. There's like a separation. We need a break. Because unfortunately, someone is not seeing things through clearly. In other words, you know what? Something has to give. Something's not working out something that your person is doing because what do we see here with the five of swords well this person they're taking all the swords and the person here you probably can't see but there's someone here saying okay fine take it take it take it i don't care anymore it's gotten to that point so there's a bit of a selfish energy here where your person's not really considering you cancer you as an individual as a person mm. all right so what are they thinking <clears throat> Well, they're thinking about you, Cancer. That's you, Cancer, right there. The Queen of Cups. At the same time, what are they thinking about? Well, they know that you have strong values and strong boundaries. You know, you don't just take anyone's BS, Cancer. They know that. So they are thinking about you, absolutely. They know that you have strong character, that sometimes I know that you're very sweet, very charming but at the same time you will show your angry side if this person you know presses your buttons what are they feeling this is okay we have the five of wands this is a card of arguments fights it's the card of not getting along finger pointing toxic energy the card of competition and yeah, I feel like your person at the moment, yeah, no, this is just above the king of pentacles. At the same time, I feel like they're not compromising. They're not admitting fault. They're not finding the solution. If anything, I feel like what the only thing they're doing is just pointing at you, Cancer. And this is why you're covering your cup. You're like, mm, hang on a second. Uh, it's, it's like, I feel like this person's just blaming you for everything. That's that's what I'm coming through. It's like, it's all your fault. It's all your fault, Cancer. When at the same time, you're like, really? Is it really all my fault? Hmm. What's the outcome? What are they going to do? Okay, so we do have the Nine of Wands. That is the Wounded Warrior or also known as the Wounded Soldier. They have their walls up, though. They're a little bit guarded, a little bit defensive, but they're not giving up on the relationship. But I feel, though, with this person, there's a bit of an attitude problem because they're defensive. It's like, I feel like this person doesn't take criticism really, really well. They don't. I feel like they can criticize you, Cancer, but God forbid if you criticize them. It's like a huge, like something small, it's something huge. Okay, let's clarify. Let's have a look. So I'm going to use now the Tarot of Owls. Let's clarify these cards. What else do we need to know, please? Regarding the King of Pentacles, this person, please. What do we need to know regarding this person? That's causing a bit of trouble here. They're causing a bit of stress, anguish, arguments. They're defensive. They're really on guard, but they're not giving up on love. They're not giving up on the relationship. So that's good to know. What else do we need to know, please? I can probably understand why cancer, you're probably focusing on your own stuff, on your career, your hobbies, things that you want to accomplish in this life.
Okay. See the big energy behind the deck? We do have the Eight of Cups. This can also show that Cancer, you felt like walking away from this relationship. See the, the gap right there? And going after your, your Ninth Cup. You've thought about walking away. There's a Nine of Swords there again. Because the situation is just causing nothing but stress. And there's the King of Pentacles right there. There he is. If you've thought about it, some of you may have already walked away from this person. Some of you think about walking away because you feel like the situation is no longer serving you. It's no longer inspiring you, bringing that passion or love. If anything, this person is just um, just causing unnecessary trouble. I'm sorry to say that, Cancer. For some of you going through this situation, Nine of Swords. Mm, yeah. The king of swords. So what's happening here? With the nine of swords, we know that it's the card of stress, having restless nights, because someone sometimes can be a little bit cold-hearted. They can have a sharp tongue. They can say hurtful things and show no emotions. That's why if we see the king or the queen of swords, beware, because they can be quite cruel. With their words, with their communication, show no emotions, show no feelings. And whatever it is that they're saying, because again, this is a card, the king and the queen, they are the rules of communication. Sometimes they can say things, but they don't realize how much it can hurt you, Cancer, unfortunately. The king of pentacles. Yeah. We also have the five of cups. I feel like a lot of you, Cancer, are regretting being with this person. This is the card of regret. I feel like you're really regretting the situation, if, in, even ever getting involved with this person. But it's also saying that there is happy, happiness for you somewhere else. Just lift your head up because not everything is all bad. And this is why I can see why you also had the Eight of Cups. You want to walk away because you just regret being around this person. I feel like they've kind of like brought out the worst of you. When technically in a relationship, you've got to bring out the best of each other. It's been quite the opposite with this person. The Five of Swords. Uh, also with the Magician. Hmm, see? The Magician with a challenging card can show sometimes that this person can be manipulative manipulate the situation with their words, turn things around and show that this was all your fault. So yeah, there is a bit of manipulation happening here. So I don't really like that to be honest, Cancer, unfortunately. This is ruled by Gemini and Virgo energy. It's also showing that sometimes this person can show themselves as the victim. I'm the victim. I'm the victim, but it's your fault, Cancer. Mm. If we go to the Queen of Cups, we also have the Sun. Okay. So what are they thinking? Well, at the moment, what are they thinking? They want to have better times with you. They want to have more fun with you. Because the Sun is bliss. It's happiness. It's adventure. It is harmony. So they want to have more fun with you. They want to restore that again. We also have the Five of Wands. Again, the Five of Swords. I feel like with you, Cancer, first of all, Cancer, I'm, I'm really picking up that you're not the issue here. What's happening here with your person? They're like hot and cold. You know, moments of happiness is short-lived. It's short-lived because they turn around and they just surprise you. And again, we have the Five of Swords, the card of me, 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 my way or the highway. They're not considering your you as a person. They're not considering your voice, your values, your opinions. And again, if you look at the owl, they're taking all the swords while the hell's in the background. They're flying away. They're like, fine, dear, take it. Take all the swords. The Nine of Wands, your person's defensive, but again, they're acting Again, I'm getting, I'm feeling this, um, this feeling of victim, 
Now, the fact that we do have the Ten of Swords for your person, it can also show a lot of you watching this video, Cancer, may have decided to end this relationship. So what's happening here? Your person feels that they've hit rock bottom. They feel stabbed in the back. It's a big victim mentality that I'm picking up here. It's like, poor me, poor me. When, yeah, this is a challenging card, but I can't help to notice that the cards that your person are coming, they're quite challenging. I look at your cards, Cancer, and I see the Queen of Cups. I see the Sun. I see that you're putting anything you're trying to make this relationship survive. But somehow your person turns everything around, undoes everything that was so beautiful. So yes, the Ten of Swords can show your person hitting rock bottom, feeling like they are the victim. Poor me. They feel that they are portrayed unfortunately. So what we're going to do, at the same time, they may not give up because don't forget the nine of wands, that is a, that's the defensive card. They might be very, very defensive with your choices, but at the same time, I feel like your person doesn't want to give up. They want to, they don't want to accept whether you've decided to leave or not, or where you, maybe you want to break from this person. Let's get some answers though for you, Cancer. What should you do regarding this person? Yep, you have the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you regarding this person right now? If you could like answer that right now, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Cancer. And you have to listen to it. You have to trust your instincts. Whatever they are telling you regarding this situation, you need to follow it. Follow it through and not go back on your word. Yeah, what else do we have? Yep. This situation is telling you cancer. Listen to intuition, but you should retreat. Be on your own to think about, to think things through. The hermit. Remember the hermit. What I love about the hermit, it is representing you, cancer, as the old wise sage. I'm not saying that you are old, but what this card is telling you, hey, you are a completely different person compared to at the start of the reading, compared to now. You're different. You have evolved. You have learned something. You have gained wisdom here. And this card is telling you, because you have gained quite a lot of wisdom, I feel like you can automatically see if your person is talking BS. You can automatically see if there are any red flags that are showing up. So this is telling you, hey, don't make any rash decisions. Be on your own. Think things through because you need to. You need to listen to intuition. Don't forget also with the high priestess about mysteries and secrets. You may find out something about your person, something that you haven't heard of, you don't know of yet. Secrets. Yeah. King of Cups. Consider yourself first. The King of Cups. Yes, they love hard. It's also represented by you, Cancer. But it's telling you, put yourself first for a moment. Consider your feelings. Because remember, the King of Cups, yes, they love hard. They're very in touch with their feelings. They go with their feelings. So yes, what is your intuition telling you regarding your feelings, Cancer? These messages are super important. They're telling you, just retreat. Don't say yes or no. Just Think about this person first before you make a decision because I'm going to be honest, I don't like the fact that this person has a lot of fives. It's showing that this person is quite difficult to deal with and because they don't want to give up, they don't want to lose you, I feel like your spirit team is telling you, mm, reconsider, think about it, th think things through. Ask yourself, does this person really serve a purpose in your life? Are they treating you how you really want to be treated? Because remember, there is a difference how you feel about someone versus how that person makes you feel. Thank you very much, Cancer, for joining me. Power to you. Hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.